Hey guys, we're at Uluru. In the background is the heart of Australia right there. The big rock itself, Uluru, have a look at it. And I gotta tell you, it's one of my bucket list items that I've had on my list for a long time. I booked it for the kids for Christmas. So here we go, I'm gonna bring you some jewels of Central Australia. Let's do this! We've only got, we're only out here for five days, but we are jam packed with stuff to do. And this is definitely gonna be the longest video that I've ever done. But I just wanna bring you guys exactly what this place is all about. And stick with me because there is some unbelievable sights in Central Australia to see. And if you never get here, this might be a little little movie that you can watch to just enjoy some of the great sights that we have in this country. But if you can get here, geez, I seriously recommend you do because it is absolutely magnificent. And there's so many spots to see. So many amazing, amazing places to see. I just cannot tell you in words how good this place is. Come to the heart of Australia and have the best time of your life. It's jam-packed, it's busy, there's so many sights to see, but you will absolutely love this place. Uluru have given me an upgrade to a Prado. I only ordered an SUV, but they didn't have any apparently. Absolutely love these cars. Now I get to cruise the desert. There was roads where I couldn't do because I, I couldn't do it in the SUV. Now I get to go down the red, dusty, sandy roads in a Prado. Let's get this thing dirty. Where are we, dudes? Uluru! This is Katajada, the Olgas. Oh. And right there is the Olgas, friends. Guys, so we've got the Olgas in the background here. Katajada, just have a look at that. Absolutely sensational. It's higher than Uluru. You know what? Only 12% of the people that actually come to the center of Australia that go to Uluru, only 12% go to Katajada, and it's absolutely magnificent. I mean, absolutely magnificent. Just to put in perspective, what we're talking about here and how far away each other's are, just have a look. Katajada, swing around past the desert. That's Uluru in the background. As you come around the corner, have a look at that. Have a look at that. This is incredible, eh? Just wow. Just wow. Just wow. Hey guys, so we're in Walpa Gorge in the Olgas or Katajuda. It's a 2.6 kilometre walk return. Absolutely just breathtaking. Hey guys, we're doing the Valley of the Winds walk in Katajuda, the Olgas. And there's 20 domes that go higher than Uluru. And Uluru's 348 metres high. I didn't realise that. But that's about as high as Q1. That's actually a bit higher than Q1 if you don't know how high that is. Now we're doing the Valley of the Winds walk at 7.4 k's. We did Walpa Gorge before. This is the first lookout. It's called Karu Lookout. Valley of the Winds, I'll tell you what, this is a walk that you want to put in your bucket list to just do when you come to the Olgas, Cutter Judah, just do this walk. It's absolutely sensational. We're at a place called Karangana right now, the second lookout. Just have a look, this is one way, just here. I'm just gonna swivel around. These towering rock formations over the top of you. That's right up there. Look, I don't know how high that is, it's very high. And then you got this on the other side. It is just a magical place. Seriously, put it on your list, go to the Olgas and do yourself a favour. It is magnificent. Towards the rock, have a look at it. Look at that. Look at 
that. Wowie. Folks, the heart of Australia, Uluru right there in the background. This is absolutely sensational, this joint. Seriously, I just can't say enough about it. There it is. We're at our first Uluru sunset. We've just come in today. I've got to tell you, the way this rock changes colour, it's gone from a bright orange to a deep red. Just check it out. Like, seriously, it's um, that is like ginormous piece of monolith right there. That is a great word, monolith. But this is sensational, truly sensational. <laughs> outdoor Aussie barbecue so we're having camel sausages, emu kebabs and just a lamb chop. But you cook it yourself. I wanted to try Australian cuisine like emu, kangaroo, camel. I wanted to try all that. We're about to do the base walk at Uluru and it's a 10.4 kilometer walk. That is massive to go around one rock. But um, this point right here is the part of the rock where they actually, when we used to be able to go up on the rock, up on top, this is the point where they actually went up. So they used to have chains and poles and all the rest of it. They don't have that anymore. But um, we're about to start our journey, 10.4 kilometers around. Surprise camel ride for part of this trip. How can you just can't go to the desert without riding a camel, surely? So we have uh, ventured into what they call the field of lights at Uluru and this is seven soccer fields or rugby league fields full of solar lights. There's over 15 tons of lighting here and just look at that as far as you can see there is just lights, little solar lights and they change colour every eight seconds. I'll tell you what, if you ever get to Uluru this is definitely, definitely one of the things that you need to put on your list, the field of lights.
and it's absolutely sensational. It's beautiful under the night sky in the, in the middle of the desert. There's stars galore, beautiful coloured lights for as far as you can see. It's absolutely sensational. Get there and do it. Hey guys, we're just driven three and a half hours from Yolara, which is Uluru, right out to Kings Canyon. It's crawling up the side of Kings Canyon. So this is King Canyon, we just walked up 500 steps to get to the top of this and the rim walk goes right across this section just here, right around and then back in that section there. There's concrete in the steps here to get up these 500 stairs, I don't know how they get, I mean this is absolutely in the middle of nowhere, like I don't know how they get concrete up this high, it's absolutely sensational, seriously, this walk is another thing you should do when you're in the NT. Let's have a look at these views, there's like sheer cliffs on the other side there. Make sure you do this walk at Kings Canyon and make sure you get to the lookout. It goes right around the rim. It is absolutely spectacular. One of the great walks. Now, this place is absolutely in the middle of nowhere. Right up the top of the mountains, there's concrete in the, in the, in the rocks to make them all stable. I don't know how they get concrete, but they built a bridge over what they call the Garden of Eden. It's in the middle of nowhere, like literally hundreds of kilometers from anywhere. I just don't know how they get these, I just don't know how they get the building materials. It amazes me. This is the Garden of Eden. Absolutely beautiful place to just sit down, take a rest at, in the middle of the walk at Kings Canyon. Back where I told you some of these bridges, how they make them, who knows, it's in the middle of nowhere. Take a look at this like a little oasis right in the middle of Australia. Between these three things, Uluru, Katajuda and Kings Canyon, put on your bucket list because seriously it is sensational. So one of the great things, I am literally out in the middle of Australia on a dirt road called Ernest Giles Road that connects Kings Canyon to Alice Springs. And it's a hundred kilometers of sandy desert soil. And I get to drive a brand new Prado across the top of it. And uh, I just want to show you some red dust that gets created from driving in the road like this. Woo! Welcome to Central Australia.
down the road to this ground here. We get even to get to sneak in a bit of local footy. Have a look at this ground here. I mean, the AFL play on this is absolutely sensational. This is like the Gabba in the middle of Alice Springs. And they've got, I don't know, maybe under 15s or something going on, but it's a big part of this Friday night at the Alice Springs footy ground is there's a lot of people here. Local footy in the Alice, how good. Hey guys, so we got up early, we went to Cassia's Hill to watch the sunrise. It's about probably two or three degrees right now in the middle of the desert. It is very cold. This is a place called Simpsons Gap. Some of these places are just absolutely picturesque, spot on. So scenic, so spectacular. And we've got a fair few more to do today. Let's go see them. So this is the first of the water holes. It's called the big hole at Ellery Creek. Tell you what, that water looks absolutely beautiful in there, but when you jump in, whew, it just grips your chest. It is freezing cold, my gosh. You can't get in there for very long at all, and you're just straight back out. But when you stand in the sun and just bake on the rock, it is that tingling, beautiful feeling when you get out of icy cold water. But that right there, folks, is one place you want to visit when you come to the central part of Australia. You gotta go way out there, at least, like to your chest, not just to your hips. Get out there. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> about a 1.2 kilometre walk in along the creek bed. So this place here is called Glen Helen Gorge. Another beautifully refreshing, icy cold swim at the base of these massive big cliffs here. Look at that. Another sensational place to put in your list. I tell you what, this place just just does not stop giving. I tell you, this is called Ormiston Gorge, and I got to tell you, there's a lookout right up there, up there somewhere, that looks down over this beach right here. beach in outback Australia just have a look at it I mean it is absolutely spectacular so just so scenic and so oh, the views are glorious and I mean it is magnificent
folks. If there's anything you can do in Australia, it's come out here and go to Uluru. See you guys.